Hanna for Vice Indonesia and today we're in Surabaya, which at one point was one of the most important ports of Indonesia. Now this trade brought many cultural influences which can still be felt here today. This fish market provides seafood to the Chinatown next door and the Arab Quarter down the road is where you'll find one of the oldest mosques in Indonesia. Okay, Google, directions to Mi Kembang, Japan. Mi Kembang, Japan is 15 minutes from your location by car and light traffic. Here are your directions. We're on the road now. We're going to head to Chinatown. Now, the Chinatown in Surabaya is probably the most iconic in Indonesia. There's loads of history there, so it'll be really interesting to see. So here we are at Jalan Kembang Jepun. The last time I came here was about 10 years ago. And as we were driving over the red bridge, it felt, it felt like it was still the same place because you can still see all the derelict buildings, but the opening of the Chinatown looks a bit more fancy. Apa aja pengaruhnya budaya Chinese terhadap uh, Surabaya sih? Yang pasti kalau ke kulineri ya, itu kan orang Chinese tuh punya seleranya tuh biasanya kebanyakan ke arah babi, terus ke arah sesuatu yang ya apa ya berminyak juicy gitu. Jadi favorit di sini apa? Uh, gini sih, makanya uh, kalau dari dulu. Favoritnya ya, jangan bilang babi, aku nggak bisa makan babi. <laughs> yang tidak terlihat seperti babi iya, apa? itu mie ayam jamur kalau di dalam pangsitnya babi pop juga gitu jadi Why? mungkin kalau gitu mau coba dulu dong oke okay, silakan yang, yang halal <laughs> mm. it is really good the noodle itself is really light so you don't feel like it's like a really heavy carby kind of dish and it's got this really yummy oil to it. Minyaknya super enak. Sekarang kita lagi menyeberang Jembatan Merah yang menjadi connecting point antara tiga quarter, ada Arab quarter sana, di sana, sana. Chinese quarter di sana. Oh ya, yeah. pagodanya kelihatan sama European quarter, lurus ya? Ya, sangat bisa potensial sekali. Jadi kalau di sini view-nya udah langsung... Ya, langsung... Wide, langsung beda. Ya. Ya. Dan mereka berada membangun kotanya Kota menghadap ke sungai. Ya, menghadap ke sungai. Jadi Bangunnya mereka semua bangunnya menghadap ke sungai daripada ya. di Arab dan di Chinese. Ini megah banget sih, gitu. Kayak, you walk down the street and you see this, you kind of have to ya. stop. Ya. Oh, wow. Ya. Lewat sini kita. Oke, okay, we're going this way. Ya, jadi garis merahnya adalah Islam, agama oh, okay. Islam untuk yang di kampung Ampel ini. Dan ini adalah koloni Arab terbesar di Indonesia. Ah, oke, okay. berarti ini udah ya. masuk ke dalam kawasan ya, masjidnya. Ini udah. Ya. Oh, jadi, uh, ini tandanya. Ya, ini gate-nya. Ah, okay. so, mereka ada lima gate, lima gate seperti lima tukun lima Islam. 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 Kalau zaman dulu katanya orang uh, dari ujung sana harus lepas sendal sudah batas suci. Uh -uh. Jadi harus oh, jalan kaki. I see. Okay Google, give me directions to Kapal Selam. Monument Kapal Selam is 12 minutes from your location by car and light traffic. Here are your directions. Kenapa? Di tengah kota Surabaya ada kapal selam. Nah ini kenapa dimusyumkan? Karena ini kapal selam pertama yang dimiliki Indonesia. Oh gitu. Eh iya. ini kita mana? Masuk iya, sini? Betul, oh sini. gitu. Ini gimana ya? <laughs> Untungnya nggak claustrophobic ya? Iya. Oh, Oke. Okay. Ih sempit banget ya. <laughs> Dan dimusyumkan kenapa di Surabaya? Karena Surabaya pelabuhan terbesar di Indonesia gitu. Oh gitu. Oke iya. oke okay, oke. Okay, okay. Aduh. Ini nggak boleh tinggi ya <laughs> Aduh, ini torpedonya? Iya, ini torpedonya. Gila. Aman kan tapi? Aman. Kita nggak akan tiba-tiba mulai oh, enggak. This 
whole neighborhood was once a bustling red light district. Those days are long gone, and now the non-profit Milisi Photocopy helps people earn money with festivals like this. Okay, so I'm here in the middle of the festival of Kampung Bangun Rejo. It is crazy busy, there's so much going on. There's kids playing games, there's, there's food everywhere. So I thought I'm gonna try some of the food. This looks really interesting. Oh, did you get some matcha pancake? Yeah. I see. This is a variant on a pancake. Panas, <laughs> yeah? I, I don't know how you're supposed to eat it. Gimana, Bu? Jatuh terus, Bu? Yeah, that's not bad, yeah? Enough? Terima kasih. So we discovered a community here in Surabaya that is called the Ghost Bus and they basically go around town looking for ghosts. So we met one of their members, Ronnie, at a park and he's now taken us to this area which is um, pretty spooky. It's near a fishing village but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere and apparently there's an old bunker. So we're going to go to this bunker and see if we can find any ghosts. Kita pakai kamera, kamera HP biasa ya, Blackberry itu. Kita tangkap pocong, dah jelas banget. Okay. Udang ini ada sungai. Uh, so you can see, like I don't know if you can see, but if you coba di zoom, if they zoom in, you can see like a white silhouette, which is a, it's like a pocong. So when you're buried in like the white cloth, yeah. and that's what we call pocong. Belum masuk. masuk ke lokasi, kita mm -hmm. berdoa menurut agama dan kepercayaan masing-masing. Okay. Berdoa mulai. Okay, yeah, that's all. Right, let's go. Yeah. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Did you hear the sound? Ekek. Oh, ekek. Dulu kita semua ya, grup. Kita lihat kuntilanak di sebelah kanan, kakak. Di sebelah kanan. Ah, itu. Center, center, bro. Center, kan? That's where they say they saw. Ah, di situ. Dia terbang ke atas gini ya, sama ketawa. They saw one of the Indonesian's mythical creatures. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Ini juga masuk bangker dia. Udaranya lembab ya. Oh my God, bro, your Batman. Macam bro, macam bro, macam bro. Kok kalian ini ghost hunter tapi lebih takut sama kelawar sih? Baunya kak. Baunya. Baunya, aduh, nggak betah. Karena like they usually look for ghosts and they're scared of bats. What the hell? <laughs> Jadi uh, mungkin sekarang kita mau coba aja dengan suasana yang gelap dan silent aja ya. kali ya untuk ngetes apakah mungkin kita ada aktivitas yang ada beredar uh -huh. mereka. Oke, okay. kita matikan dulu. Matikan dulu. Ya udah, mungkin sekarang kita coba tenang dulu. Ada yang merasakan sesuatu? Ada yang merasakan sesuatu? Kira-kira uh, main safe berarti? Eh, mau coba main lagi. Gimana? Nyalain aja. Gak apa-apa, dinyalain aja. Ya. been one of my more random trips. I mean, I went to visit a submarine located bang in the middle of the city. I had some amazing food at the iconic Chinatown, but I also went on a ghost hunt at an old colonial bunker. Now, although Surabaya always comes second to Jakarta, I think the vibe of this city is really a lot bolder and a lot bigger, and it's an eclectic yet historic city. 